Thank you for, uh, you know, welcome to GGT's gaming review of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. My name is Rory. And I'm Brian. And uh, we're going to be talking about some of the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, review. Um, it launched on uh, February 15, 2011, so it just came out. Um, very fast um, pace fighting mechanics, uh, just like some of the earlier games here. So um, very, very crazy um, fighting, very fast. So you have um, new gameplay mechanics uh, that make it more accessible to new players, uh, such as yourself, Brian. Yeah, um, being not a veteran of the Marvel vs. series, oh, Capcom vs. series in general, uh, I didn't know that much about it, but seeing how excited you and yeah. everyone else got about it after 11 years of not having anything, I yeah. started doing a lot of research and watching old videos, and it got me really excited to get my hands on this game, mm -hmm. so I was really happy when it came out. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's very interesting on how it, it just works out that um, that we're getting more players to play, uh, or just even just average people who never play a game uh, are finding it before, so it really helps out on getting that going. Um, so let me touch on a little bit of um, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, it had actually a very difficult learning curve. For it, so for number three to be uh, having an easier access uh, really helps it out to have people play. Um, so the the second game had came out um, 11 years ago, so it was about 2000, so turn of the millennium, guys. Um, so the problem uh, why it took so long for the game to come out, you had a lot of Marvel character licensing issues. So a lot of people were like licensing issues. It's like yeah, so they deal with a lot of paralegal stuff. So it takes a long time to get this stuff back because Capcom, for whatever reason they were doing, they just sold it off and we're like we're like oh my gosh like why would you why would we do something like that so it took them a long time to get it back and everything but the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 revolutionized um, um, fighting genre in video games. Um, definitely, uh, the game wasn't like too perfect or anything, but once people started figuring out some of the stuff that was broken in it and everything, you were they were starting to do unbelievable things. So um, for a game that uh, lasted 11 years, it did a pretty good job and all. So um, let's you know let's talk about some pros and cons. Um, I would say the uh, pros uh, you have the it's you know it's very accessible gameplay mechanics like we said earlier. Um, you have uh, the character selection, you have a good amount of uh, characters in there, and then the graphical facelift, um, the cell sh 3D cell shading and pixelation is uh, no longer a problem like it is in all the other games and everything there. So that's what how that would work out. Um, some of the cons, you have um, gameplay mechanics, um, this the skills, you didn't really have to know what you were doing and you could do well. So for regular and veteran players, they didn't like that as much and everything because they wanted to use their skills because they played so long. So they were you know, getting beaten by uh, opponents who didn't really were as skilled as them. And then certain characters not included, Capcom's Mega Man, that's you know, the biggest mascot there. And there was a lack of gameplay modes uh, and easy unlock. So you can unlock everything pretty easily. And then uh, with the gameplay modes, there wasn't really much like you can't watch other people's matches and all that kind of stuff. So what do you think, Brian? Uh, personally, uh, some of the pros for the game are, I agree, um, it's very user-friendly. Opening up to mm -hmm. people like, uh, it could be a family party game, everybody could learn and use their favorite characters. Um, just opening up to anybody who's never really tried a fighting game before because it was too hard for them. Um, it's also a good diversity of characters. People can come in because they like a certain character and learn about other characters. Um, the cons... Uh, the user friendliness is also a bad thing in my uh, mind because it opens up the people that come in could be spammers or rage gamers, and they just make the game a lot more frustrating and this annoying than it should be. Um, the characters were good, but uh, some characters had more to draw on than other characters and got better moves. Uh, in the case of Dante over uh, Spencer, um, Spencer only was in one game, and Dante had four. So, Dante had a better uh, lineup of things they could choose from. But yeah, uh, in all, it's a good game, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, my review on it, I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, it's fun factor. I mean, like we said, it did really well on that. And then the simplest access to controls where anybody can come and play. There's a lot of long life coming in here, download content, and then, you know, there's going to be constant delay for attention. So, there's going to be a lot of patches. So, hopefully, it'll get fixed by that time and everything. So, thank you, Capcom, for releasing the game, and thank you for watching. Um, and my review is also an 8 out of 10. The fun is there, but sometimes it's covered up by the new players that, that uh, are spammers or ragers. But all in all, it's a very good game, and I appreciate Camcom releasing this. Uh, thanks for watching.